so welcome welcome back to my video i hope you're all well this is actually a really random video i start off by being at a fright night thing and then i give you a haul then i go to manchester then i go to an h concert then i go shopping then i give you another haul so feel free to skip to bits that you want to watch and skip the bits you don't want to watch but other than that i hope you enjoy i love you all hey guys so basically we've come to dre and manor for like this like fright night thing i think this is like the first year for like what do you describe this like a fright night it's a bundle of joy that's what i would describe <laughs> as. yeah ben actually works at like an event it's like a, it's this it's a life changing experience so this probably isn't going to be fun for you at all because yeah, you're like well, it's a different event yeah but basically we are an hour and a half late to this event and we're meant to be here at four for like a whole meeting and stuff it's like invite only <laughs> and i really don't know what's going on but we're an hour and a half late and like it says i don't know if we're meant to all be going around as a group or what's going on but anyway we're just here i'm with benny my brother and george have you been so, having fun so far well it's in the beginning yeah yeah so far I mean, we haven't done anything oh, yet well, the fun starts here Oh, yeah. Let's go. Oh, all of a sudden, mommy's so much fun. Anyway, we're going to have to find some people because a lady gave me her phone number to ring her when we were here because I told her we were going to be late. But she just hasn't answered, so we're just going to go and go for a little hunt and see if we can find people and ask some questions because I'm not really sure what's going on, but it should be fun. Should probably get dark in like an hour. Yeah, we'll go for a hunt to find them. Yeah, I haven't been to Drayton Manor in ages. Finish it off, Bucky. Like a, a hunt to find the Hunt to find Zebediah. No. That's one of the things we're doing tonight. Hunt to find the. I don't know. The fun? No. What, darling? Rhyme. Hunt to find the lunt, the shunt, the cunt. <gasps> You're naughty, darling. We've got lanyards, we've got sweets, um, they're like in gloves and they look like hands, but I've already tucked in because you know that I need to eat my sweets. And I went over and she was like, who are you with? And I was like, what? She was like, content creator? I was like, yeah, I'm a content creator. We've got some cups that we can fill up for free. We've got food tokens. Anyway, keep you updated. <laughs> Hog roast and like chicken wings and chips and oh my god! We do have tokens of food and we think Ben's lost it. But we've gone on our first ride and it was really funny. I literally was screaming. It's like the least scary ride ever, and I'm still screaming. Okay, we're about to go into the castle of screams. Basically, we just walked past this guy and he was like there with like two big hammers. And Ben was like, oh my god, imagine if this was a real person. And then he literally just came out and just screamed at me, and I ran away and screamed. It was so scary. And now we're going to the castle of screams with loads of like scary actors. And like for some reason in the moment I can't think that it's just a person I actually think that it's like a sorry, like, scary person yes. So no, wish me luck We have nightmares about this for days You'll know it's good if I do Right, should we go through then guys? George has had to finish her drink and she was actually really hard about it But then she actually threw it all away So George is a pussy hole <laughs> Full of riders and now they're all gone so they must be dead <laughs> <laughs> oh no they're still on we're gonna die yeah. got the headphones how it's exciting like it's speaking music they're not very big i know they're like little baby ones <laughs> <laughs> Oh Guys, that was, that was terrifying, sick. wasn't it? <laughs> I loved that. That's the, that's the best one I've been on for a while. Ah, <gasps> chicken wings, jack potato, cheese, and beans. Sorry, is there a I don't go to toilets in public areas <laughs> unless it's a boat. Oh my god, I'm actually. Yeah, it's fine. Thing. We're fine. Time. That was apparently 50 miles per hour going down. We all had our eyes shut, like just waiting for it to finish. It just was not stopping. I was like, we all finished. Oh my god, no! I won the photo so I think I was just showing my eyes and like bracing myself, but it felt literally that never thing. ending. Honestly, it was crazy. That, yeah. I, I thought I was getting faster and faster. I've never felt a feeling like that in my life. That was oh, wild. Go, like, one of those hills. Yeah. That was continuous. That like, for like, full on. how long do you reckon you go down for? Like 10 seconds? Seven seconds. I remember the, I remember the feeling in the I first second. And after that, that, I was like, it's got to finish soon. Like surely, like yes. it's got to end. And me, end. and me, and me. But that was like, brill. That was oh, epic. Seven. Imagine that, but like times 10. Oh, we'll e do that. Higher. E we just went on the hunt for that Zabadiah. It oh. was scary because like you're in the dark and there was like oh. a weird leader, man. Let me see what I think. Mm -hmm. I, I guess 
that. Because they don't have enough like employees. The chainsaw guy was scared. I, I guess that. That. Okay, so this is a few days later. I just wanted to have a quick little interval with you. Look at me guys. This is what I have to dress up for, for content for you guys. <laughs> now I'm joking, me and my granddad are doing an ad for Amazon on his account and they've wanted it to be like Halloween vibes. So we've got outfits and stuff. Um, and we're going to be making like Halloween cupcakes and mum's carved a pumpkin and stuff. So this is the day that we're going to Manchester, but it's early on in the morning right now. So there'll be a complete change of scenery later, but this is me right now. I love you guys. Spooky, spooky, what is it? Spooky, scary skeletons and shivers down your spine. Basically, mom's put in like a diffuser thing that lets out air in here and it was working a minute ago and now no air is coming out. It's like there's a diffuser in there and now it's just not working and it's really upsetting. But look how cool the rest of it looks. Look, I've got a little skeleton here. So I've actually just finished all of the baking and everything and I'm going to Manchester in 15 minutes, but I've got a pull and bear. Delivery comes through and I really want to try everything on, so I think I might just show you guys like super super quickly i've packed everything so hopefully i can just get going literally bought like loads of trousers because i'm so tall i assume none of them would fit me but i just thought i'd try them anyway because you never know and then if they do then that's really exciting but i assume i'll have to send most of it back anyway but yeah i'm gonna quickly try it on and show you guys what i think so i have these trousers i'd probably want them in a tall but i'm pretty sure all of the tall is out of stock which is kind of annoying oh i haven't done it my little fly that's awful but yeah that's the thing like pull and bear stuff i never know whether to get it in standard or tall but I always opt for tall, but all of the tall is always out of stock. Like, I don't know if they just have low stock or if they just have like a lot of tall ladies shopping with them. But other than that, they're really cute. Okay, then I got these trousers in pink. See, these are standard. Yeah, they're really high waist and they're really long and they're lovely. And I actually already have these in grey, so I knew they were going to fit me. And I just think they're so quirky and cool and pink. I feel like a bass ass woman and I really don't like jeans. So trousers are the way to go for me because like they're just like so comfy, not restrictive. Like they just make me feel like amazing. And I love trousers because I'd never want to like wear leggings like all the time like if I'm going out for a nice meal and stuff I don't want to wear jeans then I also don't want to wear leggings you know and obviously there's like skirts and stuff but sometimes you don't want to be like too fancy so these are perfect and they look so cute okay then I've gone for them in black because I'm one of them gals that as soon as I know what something fits me I need to get them in like every color so I've now got them in black gray and pink and then I also have like leggings in five different colors that fit me from Shadowverus because I'm just like one of them gals but it's really weird because I got them in the exact same size yet these ones are too tight so just remember guys if you're buying something and you're like oh my god how does extra large not even fit me well they were actually a little bit baggy on me these are really tight so like even from the same company the exact same trousers they're never going to be consistent with sizing so don't beat yourself up about anything you look gorgeous girly and sizing doesn't mean anything and then i have this asymmetrical top i think that's what you call it but i can't really decide on it so you guys will have to let me know in the comments below i do think it's really cute like this with the black bottoms could be adorable but yeah it is cute i'm just not sure on the neckline but i love that it's like really thick on the side and it's got like the ruching and stuff okay so now i've got these cargoes because i'm still on the hunt to find the cargoes that are right for me but i just haven't found them yet like i've literally tried probably like 20 different sizes what's cool about these is that you can cuff them at the bottom or you can leave them like baggy but it's just that they're low waist and i just don't think i have the balls to wear low waist but like other than that the material and the style of them is like so cool like they're very much giving the urban outfitters vibes of the cargoes like i do think they're so cute but i just don't think i have the confidence for low waist i just don't think i do now we have all seen the trend where it's like this is rolled over and I saw them and I was like do you know what maybe I'll join in on the trend but I think they might be a little bit too short on me like I feel like they're like at an awkward in between length although if I had shoes on maybe they wouldn't be I'm just not feeling myself in them I don't think like I feel like they need to be a little bit high here and a little bit longer at the bottom I feel like they need to be like in at all for me and I don't want to like keep something if I'm not going to reach for them so again guys these are the exact same trousers as the green ones but just in brown and I feel feel like these fit me a little bit better. I think I am going to have to reevaluate when I get back, but I do think they're cute. Okay, so this is the last one. I knew that it was a risk getting it, but it was literally a risk I needed to take because of how freaking cute this skirt was, like with tights and little boots and stuff. The only thing is, is it is just too small. Like if I bend over, you guys are seeing everything. And this is it like pulled down. Like I'd comfortably want to wear it like there. Like that feels more comfy on my tummy, but that is just ridiculous. Like, like if there's anyone smaller than me, they would literally be able to see like just up my bum really upsetting like we really need some more stores that cater for tall people because this is like so cute yeah i can't wear the stuff i want to wear because of my height you know so everything in my haul i've got a pile of yes no and maybe so i'm gonna reevaluate when i get back thanks for watching some guy just came and asked for money and i i gave him three pound and i was scared he was gonna see my 20 pound in my bag and take it from me but some people some of them have card machines around there. but like that's a scam no but it is because i think yeah, apparently they... if you have a card you come to the train station 
I'm getting chicken, it's basically katsu curry, but we're at wasabi and I always thought this was yo sushi. Like my whole life I thought this was yo sushi. And I've also got some, I think they're called, is they yo yeah. I've never tried them before, so I'm gonna try, I'm gonna taste us. Do you wanna try these ones? No, I don't like them. Seen, um, Natasha Ocean eats these all the time, so I wanted to be like Natasha. Have you had that? I don't her? like that either. That sauce is really weird. Oh, I no, thought I it was like, soy sauce. Is it not? I don't think it is. Yeah, it says Goyosa sauce. Yeah, it's not. It's um, I mean, maybe it's just me. I might just be being wrong. I'm nervous. I try it. Do you see what I mean? Like they're weird. I think they're okay though. Yeah, but they're a bit weird. But I think I probably would reach for them again. But I don't think they're like anything gobsmacking. I'm sure you don't want to try. Yeah, I'm you want to try. Right. I'm it. scared. Okay, should I give you a little dip? It's just like soy sauce. Is it? Yeah. Because the one that you see she was not that nice. Okay. It just tastes like chicken in a covering. Like I don't know how to describe Like a wrap almost. <laughs> Why do we both get so concerned when we're eating it? That one tastes a lot better than Yeah, it's not actually that bad, is it? We've been eating popping candy and it's wild. Right. <laughs> People will listen to that to fall asleep. So basically we've come to hotel football and the motto here is eat, sleep, drink football. And that is very fitting for us because we oh, yeah, love we're football. Such football we're I said on the train that we're gangster members. <laughs> Why is that not? It was so awkward because no one even like, like responded. Listen, no, listened. it was really awkward, but you've got the bathroom and it's so nice. We're saying like it's really nice because everything's like so clean and like aesthetic. A really nice big mirror, which we love. You've got like a little makeup mirror here as well, which is good. Literally look how big this freaking shower is. Like we can literally fit in a bathtub in there. It's so nice. Like I just think that's such a bougie shower. We love a big shower. I can actually take inspo for this for like my future home. Got a little wardrobe here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this is like okay, I need to look kind of hard for the video. Got a really nice bed and it's really big, which is perfect yeah. because if I remember correctly, I think I took all the bed sheets from you in the past. Yeah. So that would probably be good for you. I've got this nice little, this blanket. You, <laughs> <laughs> you just do it like that. Way. Right, you have like a sausage roll. <laughs> Here's our view. This bit isn't the vibe, but if we just ignore that, the rest is quite cute and scenic and you know quite Ma Manchesterian. <laughs> So we love that. And then here's our little desk, got a TV. Not that we'll probably use the TV, but yeah, it's a cute room. And it's got a nice big mirror here, which is really nice for pics, getting ready, you know, what you use mirrors for. And a lovely football wall. This is the reason we chose this room. Oh my God, your feet literally don't touch the floor mine, like on the floor. I feel like I'm further back, but yeah. <laughs> so we met this girl, she came up to us because our train was delayed. The train before was delayed like an hour later to the time, time our train, our train, our train was, meant was meant to be, but then our one was also delayed. But it was like the same train, taking to the same place. Yeah, yeah. But like our train was like another half an hour later. So, so we may as well get yeah. our early. So we were like wasn't. scared if we went on it and like a ticket man came around they'd be like you have to buy another ticket and we basically. didn't want to pay another like 30 quid so this girl came over and basically was saying the same thing to us and, and then like, we just sort of like it? stuck together and then she spoke to the guy and then we went on the train all together and we thought she was gonna be like 19 20 like similar age to us yeah, she, was... she was 28 and she really seemed like so young like not like immature but she no, just seemed she looked like, like her like persona yeah. and like the way she looked like she seemed so young but she was really nice and we yeah. had someone to talk to for like Literally, yeah, I think we were on the trip for two hours. She was really lovely. Yeah, she was so nice. And it's just crazy that we're never going to see her again. There was this <laughs> lady, right? And she went to the toilet. We were sat like in the bit where the doors <laughs> are. Cause, yeah, because we obviously didn't have any chairs because we went on the train earlier. Yeah, and I think a lot of people did as well. So it was sort of like over. Yeah, so a we were just like, brag, we'll sit like, you know, when you get on the train and there's like that bit there. We were like, yeah. we'll sit here because also it gives us more space than being crammed with all of our bags. And, yeah, like, there was this lady that came into like where we were sitting. And obviously, like every time someone came through, we had to like move. She was waiting for someone to get out of the toilet, and she had she walking started stick. hitting the door. And she just literally was tapping the door. Like, to let this, like she didn't know the lady. No, either. Like, at she all. just started hitting, <laughs> she was hitting the door, hitting the door to like, like the stick. basically like, say, hurry up. And then she was like, you know how there's like a corridor and then like the big yeah. space? We were like, here. Like in the corner. Yeah. She was bending her head just to watch around. her around but like i just like us. i don't you were facing that way and i was facing yeah, like the way she was telling us so i didn't see. know that she was looking at us but like the girl we were talking to was something there and when the lady left she was like she kept like proper staring oh, no like she was but, like fully she was like, going out of her way to like look it wasn't like you know when you just like look at someone no she was, you, like, fully, she was like, fully looking, looking like at all of you and she looked at me and then i just smiled at her and then she went back to looking at macy and she was literally just staring and it was like i'm so confused then she finally went into the 
the toilet. And anyway, then she went to the toilet three times because then on the second time I was standing up and she barged past me. Her stick <laughs> and her body literally hit my whole shoulder. And I was like, what the hell? And then the third time she came down, we were about to get off because we got to our stop. Yeah. And, then and she'd gone like, to the toilet. Yeah. But we were yeah. all like, I don't know, why are you going yeah. to the toilet? There was like this man that started speaking to us. Um, and we were he like, was oh, so cute. Yeah, yeah, he, he was, was so tiny. Sweet. And he was like <laughs> talking to us and like, which is, you know, like, and we were all just standing, like waiting for the doors to open. open yeah. So he, like, she was like behind him, but he obviously didn't move because he thought that she was getting off as well. Because that's like, you know, you wouldn't think that. And then she just randomly was like, can you move? Like this, she's like, yeah. I'm trying to get And she was like past. pointing with her stick. Yeah. She was like, can you move? I'm trying to get through the corridor. Then he like moved and was like, oh, sorry, like yeah. this. And she went, I'm gonna fuck you up, you black heart. Oh, and she was walking off. And we were just like, we, oh. I was like really trying like to hold it in like, laugh. Like she didn't say anything to begin with or wasn't even trying to get past. She was just standing <laughs> there and then just came out with that. And we were like- It was really scary. Yeah, because honestly, literally so many people we've met have been so lovely. So literally it was just we met such some, a- Like, like an Uber driver. Yeah. Like it, it, obviously like there are people that are having bad days, but to just come out, like just attack someone like oh, that. Literally, oh, literally. Like it was really awkward. Yeah. So that was our eventful day. We Quarter past five. Quarter past five. I think we yeah. got here at like we got to Manchester at like four. Oh god, this, the oh god. Is at seven. <laughs> oh god, oh shit. And we want to be out the back because I've been there before. Yeah. And it was it sound good. so squashed. Yeah, I'm not really that hungry. We could just get like some little. I'm I'm happy yeah. to have some nuggets. I didn't have nuggets. I'd yeah, have or even if we just went to the shop and got some snacks or something. Yeah, we could do that. We could we'll just, just get how food we after. Later. We can get food after then because that's what I meant. I thought we were going before, and I was like, I don't want to look like really overdressed. We don't really know any H songs, so I feel like, like if we're, we're completely like, sober. We, it like, might I be. love H, but I don't know many of us. Like I know that I know like little not. choruses from like TikTok. Yeah. So uh, I should know all of them, but I don't. Yeah, me too. Half past five, and we didn't actually realise how close it is, but that. That is literally the O2 Victoria Warehouse right there. And look at the queue. The doors don't even open till 7 p.m. And the queue is like all there. I mean, we can't see anymore, but that's actually crazy. Like, these are like proper diehards of age. We're thinking we might not even get that until like half eight-ish because we reckon there's gonna be like loads of support acts and there wouldn't really be much point in us like being there. Even if we're there for like an hour, it'd still be like something fun to do just for an hour. So we'll keep you updated, but right now, this is crazy. <laughs> So we're all ready for the night. We're really embarrassed because we've come into the cafe in our hotel. We're like very undressed. I'm literally wearing a glittery outfit and then she's got a bum out. So we're really embarrassed right now. But anyway, we're gonna go to the eight o'clock. We're just getting a train. The queue has gone down a lot because it's now like half seven now. So the doors open at seven, so it's like gone down a lot. First time getting drunk in a while, guys. I'll let you know how it goes. It's not for me. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> So fun. No, it actually was fun. That's what I mean. It doesn't really taste alcoholic. No, that one's okay because we did an archer, so we're not too crazy. There's literally no one queuing, so this is perfect. I'm gonna have to film my phone, guys, because this is literally about to die. But anyway, this is really odd. <laughs> We definitely should have got into pajamas and got ready for bed. So then we could have just like chilled with no makeup on and like. Oh. I know, but I'm not ready to deal with it right now. Oh, stop it! No, I want to try. You need the strawberry daiquiris that you have. Absolutely got to be done, boys and girls. I thought you've got a chicken burger. Are you sure this is our meal? It is. Because you've got the nuggets. <laughs> Do you want it? Did you put that in? No. Is that the McCrispy? Yeah, do you want it? Because I literally said, oh my God, I really want to try the McCrispy. 
You were like, do you want it? Because I don't want it. Where are the mozzarella bites? Oh, no. I got mozzarella dipping. Oh, we man. said we're so excited for mozzarella Oh, well, I don't care. I'll leave that if you want. And we could just eat, Yeah, we can just have bites each. Yeah. Because it looks nice, anywho. <laughs> So yesterday we came down really overdressed and this is this morning we woke up like 15 minutes ago. Still in our pajama tops. We went to the intersection and we ordered something hot from the menu. So it's probably something good. We have like muffins and stuff. So here is my continental selection. I was thinking we literally could get some panetta cars and muffins to take out for the day. I don't think I'm weird and eating cheese with chocolate, although that wouldn't be weird if you fancy it, but I'm getting it fun in English so I'm going to eat this on my toast. So when I was up there, I saw this braid. Actually, maybe it's camembert, I don't know. No, it's braid. And I went, nice. <laughs> and it was like a random guy that worked in it. <laughs> and he literally went, like he was like stared. <laughs> yummy, yummy, in our tummies. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Just doing my makeup, as you can probably tell. Got the beautiful view right in front of me. Absolutely loving it. I'm really enjoying Manchester so far. Obviously, I haven't even been into the town centre yet, so I can't give my like full opinions. But from what I've seen, absolutely loving it. It's so gorgeous. That little walk that we went on that was like from the H concert here, down here, all down there, across the lake over to the bridge over here was like the alchemist so everything is really near we probably are going to need to get a taxi to go to the town centre today but you know what that's fine everything else has been really near which is really convenient we do need to be out of here in 40 minutes so just getting ready for the day had my shower obviously had our breakfast we're going to have a little look around the shops me and macy both don't want to spend money so that's very annoying it would be nice just to like experience manchester and just go like sort of window shopping and stuff and then later we're meeting a friend for dinner before we get the train we've been very mature and going to places that she's right outside the train station so we make sure we don't miss it so look at us go yeah i'll keep you guys updated and i hope you're enjoying the vlog so far i'm just hoping and praying we see molly may like i really 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 need to see her i just i'm so in love with her like i don't know what it is about her but she just has a soft spot in my heart i love you molly may Checked out of our room. We made sure to get everything complimentary out of the fridge. Yeah, we did. And I, I did take the body wash home. <laughs> yeah, because I had loads left. And it we should have really got nice. the shampoo and No, I thought that, but then I was like, oh, I don't really need shampoo and conditioner, but I really want... I True, really like, like I feel like if it's, like, free... Right, we should have taken it. But I really like the smell of the body wash, so I thought... It was I'd, nice, wasn't so it? So I took it home. Love that. So, so we've got Chris, we've got some sweets. I finished a bottle of water in there. And it was a really nice day. We stayed at Hotel Football, so I would highly recommend recommend if you're coming to Manchester, especially if you're going to a concert at the O2 Warehouse, yeah. Victoria Warehouse. Yeah. Having a little walk down this canal, it doesn't actually take us anywhere. I think we've got to get a drive into like the city centre. Closer <laughs> <laughs> to like the city centre going this way and it's a really nice scenic walk. Yeah. And, like a bit less for the Uber. Yeah, yeah it's quite nice. Tonight, it'd probably be like an eight pound Uber. But I actually like, love this weather when it's like cold, but it's like really bright and like blue skies and everything. And it is very pretty. Ready. I feel so cringe having this backpack on. Like, I don't know why. Like, I don't mind having a backpack on, but it's the fact that it's like bulging out. Like, I could barely fit everything in it. <laughs> Look at the faces. <laughs> but I think it's a bit greasy and like. Dropped hug. <laughs> I look like That's... a hitchhiker. No, you don't. You look so cute. Ugh. Ugh, oh my god, oh my god. Unless if I kept walking and fell in. Choose um, really dirty Air Force because I thought they will be fine if they get ruined. And air Forces are really Force. underground. Those are pr people probably wouldn't have heard of Air Forces yeah, before. Yeah, to be fair, like I just feel like that. Sorry, they're a bad in the comment. Like, yeah, they're they quite quirky. Like the white, normal, basic ones first. Yeah. Um, and then. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> my goodness! Oh, thank the Lord, they're okay. I'm gonna still eat them. <laughs> I was just gonna think I would too. The trousers are from Motel. Love that, um, the Motel Queen. I just got the stupid popping candy stuff, like, <laughs> I think it was me it. that dropped popping candy on the floor yesterday in the yeah, hotel and we got it all over our feet. Did you, did you? And it was like, felt like pebbles. <gasps> <gasps> oh! My God! No, 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 no. I'm, I can't, I can't. I nearly, like, no, I'm not joking. <laughs> No, 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 my foot just went in that gap. I swear to God. Oh my, God, really God. I'm my tummy and my heart is racing. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh my Lord. Okay, carry on. The things I do as a photographer, Jesus Christ. Um, Jackie, I don't know where. From my mama. My, 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 my <laughs> From my, my mama. I was going to say mother and mama at the same time. From my mama. She gave me that um, top, pretty little thing. Tan, Bondi stands, all to dark. Nose there, ring. Nose ring. Etsy. Love that. Your fake one. 
Turkey, I think. <laughs> Love I'm that. Up, but I think it was actually Spain, but it's really good. No one actually knows. So. Hell yeah. I mean, it literally is a rip on. As real. you should. H&M. Vibes AF. Crisps, base for <laughs> pickled onion off the floor. <laughs> bag. Bit of puddle Rana. seasoning. <laughs> yeah. And a little bit of spice. These are pull and bear. This top is also pull and bear. Just sponsored by pull and bear. Yeah, this is my protein. Use code break for money. Oh, um, <laughs> Carlos. Carlos. <laughs> Carlos on the brush. Beauty Asta. Bear. Beauty Works. Beauty Works. Molly Mae Volume 2. Brush. Aldi. That is all, my friends. Well, oh, shoes. Oh, yeah. Nike Dunks. Cool. And that is all. Bag. Thanks for watching. You did do your bag. I did. Uh, the first thing I did. You're not a very good videographer. No, I wasn't because I wasn't paying attention when you started speaking. <laughs> <laughs> no change well, no, there. Was just video. Walking and we walked down there and you see those like white barricades. It was a dead end. So now we're walking a different route. We've just met this guy and he was loving talking to us. That guy didn't want to stop talking, did he? No, I was, he was like, okay, we do need to find a way because this isn't the way this. I know because he literally told us the same story about five times. So like, how would you give a different response to that every time? But anyway, but it seems a bit pointless walking all the way back to get a now when it was right by our hotel. Now I feel like we've got so far we need to like firm it, you know what I mean? So oh, wish us luck. Yeah. We're now in Mane. Does that sound like Mane or not? I think that was better than your other accent. I can only say like oh, Mane in a Mane accent. I can't do anything else. Just only because I can like hear <laughs> yeah, so say Mane. Yeah, literally like I just get Scouse and like Manchester accent like really confused. But yeah, we don't really know where like anything is. Everything's like food places or like post but offices. There's a Primark there's a, Yeah, well, there's a Primark here, so we're gonna head in there, but I don't see like any other sort of shops like I'm only seeing. No, they're all done there. Ah, okay. Yeah, we're gonna go in a Primark. Oh my god, yeah. this is like so weird. I've never seen like and it's for the great outdoors section of Primark. That's a nice shoe, actually, the white one there. Wow. I sort of have gone off Primark a little bit just yeah. because oh, I feel my... like it's. <laughs> I'm really confused right now. There's literally like a cafe that I didn't realise but is in Friends in Primark. What? This cannot be real. The queue for Primark is not the freaking vibe. We're in so much pain with our bags right now. Like, they are literally hurting. Like, look at Macy's red China. We're gonna pay for our stuff and then we're gonna go and sit down and find somewhere. To just chill, we're about to drink. Okay. This is not the vibe right now. We've come to Starbucks. Mace has got a toasty, a lemonade, and a ginger shot. <sighs> Wish her luck, honestly. I don't know I don't, how she's found like in this. Really about me. I know they're huge. Then. I've got a caramel cream. So yummy. Like, I literally love caramel cream. But I get it with no coffee because I'm not a coffee girl. Yeah. Right. Go on, girlie. You've just I got to find it. Do it all in one. Do it all in one. Like, just keep going. Oh my god, you're smashed. You've literally just smashed that. How did you down that so quickly? Oh my god. Oh my god. It's bad. <laughs> Quickie, you're salvaging, you're salvaging. That's worse than a real shot. Oh Imagine if I told you that. I know, I know, I know. It's like spicy, isn't it? Oh my god, are you okay? <laughs> you're literally crying. I'm not, it's burning my eyes. <laughs> oh, I can't forget my water. Tipsy bottle, Coca Cola glass. I'm giving it. I don't it. think you're meant to drink it that quick. But I feel like if you don't, it would just be horrible, like having to keep going back. Right? Yeah, we need a break it. because yeah. our bags are killing us. Like, this is so heavy. I actually don't like whipped cream, but when I get like a milkshake or something, I actually get it so I can like mix it into my drink to make it nicer. Do you know what I mean? What are you doing? Yeah. 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 All right. We'll come and see you after, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody take my credit card away from me. Joking, I have a debit card, so that was a lie anyway. But yeah, we can well, shop like, literally, we spent the whole day. Well, we've spent like five hours shopping. Yeah, and I mean, we went for food. I mean, I, we would have had a better experience shopping if our bags weren't um, dislocating our shoulders. Honestly, if we had a trolley or a personal assistant. Just our boyfriends. Literally, just in <laughs> silence, walking yeah. behind yeah, us. Yeah, no, we didn't really Muted. need them to be there, but just to like carry the bags would have been nice. Amazing. Thanks, Ben's. Yeah, <laughs> Ben's. We've all done of the day. We oh, couldn't even face walking round Zara. Even if we could be bothered to walk round Zara, I think we are meeting way. our friend now at quarter past five, so we needed to walk to the place that we're going to eat anyway. So it's probably a good thing though, because I have spent too much money on literal pants, also on pajamas. But I have told myself I did want to get myself some things to like sleep in and stuff, so I am happy that I've got some things to sleep in. It's honestly a very very busy day yeah. in Mane. Honestly, Macy told me that it was half term, which makes more sense. But as well, there are like many, many, many like middle aged people. And I always think like, what jobs do these people have? Do you know what I mean? I think it's wild. But yeah, Manchester, I give you a big fat thumbs up. I've really enjoyed my stay. We're going for some food now. I'll give you a haul in a bit. I didn't get anything exciting because I feel like looking through clothes is like such a chore. Like you go to one shop, give it your all, and then I'm over and out for the day. So I might have to like go 
to Manchester again and dedicate. <gasps> my bag just broke. No, my bag's broke. This is a freaking joke. Now I'm gonna have to hold it like it's <laughs> like a baby. No, that's me. Like at least we're at least we finished our shopping now. What the hell is going on in the house of commons? Oh, oh look, we're slaying. Hi. Hi. Let's have to vlog. What word you? What word you? Yeah, Raji. Yeah. 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 Our YouTube channel. Yeah. Just my name, channel? Brooke Paintain. Huh? Brooke Paintain. I was trying to subscribe to her. Hi. Subscribe to her. Am I going to be on YouTube? Yeah. Come on. Let's go. I'm I'm so subscribe to her. Subscribe to her. That's my sister. Subscribe. Like and subscribe. Yeah. Like and subscribe. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Yeah. I'm gonna get so many followers now. You will. Don't worry. Famous. What's your name? What's your YouTube again? Brooke Paintain. Paintings. Painting. Painting. Like a pain. Oh, pain. Painting. Pain 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 pain. 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 Thanks for the love, guys. How many subscribers you have? 15k. No. Whoa, I'm gonna be crazy. <laughs> love Bye. it. See you. Have a good day, guys. <laughs> oh, that is so cute. But yeah, I want that energy right now. <laughs> he is a crazy little kid. That, that his sister had <laughs> to run away when he started talking. I know. And she, she like turned around and just started sprinting away. I know. <laughs> literally, like the two kids were like oh, saying whatever so they were cute. saying. And their older sister literally just ran away. They're like, no, that, I do not I own them kids. Done the same. It was so cute though. No, but like if my sister did that, I probably would have run away. <laughs> like imagine. I feel like I need to come to Manchester again and dedicate each day to one freaking shop so I can actually have energy. Because I haven't made the most of my shopping experience, but there wasn't any physical way I could have done that. Unless I had like the energy of that little boy and girl. Those are five guys there, eh? Oh, unreal. Anyway, I'll let you know when we get there because right now this is very uncomfortable holding this like this. Oh, <laughs> oh, this is not the vibe. No, our hair is like so hot. back safe and sound i'm going to do you a little haul first thing i got with it was this little jumper from primark which i do think is cute but i just can't decide on like i think with leggings it would be better but i just don't really know if it's my vibe i just sort of bought it because i like the colors i just sort of wanted to buy something but i don't think it's actually my vibe so i think i'm probably will have to send it back i got this really cute little beanie i actually haven't tried it on yet but it looks kind of small my hair is absolutely greasy as hell so ignore that Oh my god, that is literally adorable. Stop, that's so cute. This is from H&M. And then I got this scarf to go with it, like a little matching set. And you can like make it short, you can do it like this. And then you know how people like put it in like this. Obviously people know how scarves work long and just have it like really casual and trendy. Then I was gonna get some matching hand warmers, but then I realized I probably wouldn't wear them. But like, look how freaking cute I look. I was like really trying to find a matching like cream and I think that I actually got it as close as possible. So I'm so happy with myself. This is also from H&M, like that is so vibey. I love that from me. I honestly don't know why. She got a million pairs of pants and I probably didn't need to do that, but in the moment, I love having fresh pants. Like, I just don't know what it is. So I got Primark pants, Primark pants, more Primark pants, uh, more Primark pants. H&M pants. These ones look really cute and really nice and soft. And these ones from H&M as well, which are probably my favorite. Like, they look so cute. I hope they're really comfy. Like, look, they've got like the little like gold thing on the front. I just think they seem really cute and like stretchy and comfy. So I love that. Like, oh my god, why did I get this many pants? There just really wasn't any need. And then I really wanted some nightwear, so also from H&M. I got this, this little nighty, and then also just in a nude, just because I think these are like perfect from winter. I hate sleeping naked, like it just makes me feel really insecure and like uncomfortable. So I just got these like really stretchy, basic nighties from H&M. I got this perfume from Zara because I absolutely love this one. I actually got like the big one because I've only had the small one from Zara, but I know that I love it and I literally use it every day because it isn't like majorly expensive. It's the tuberose one from Zara and I just love it and it's actually really aesthetic because it's pink so it's a must and finally I got one last little like nightgown which is the most cute thing ever if you had confidence you could wear this as like a little angel outfit on Halloween but like look how freaking adorable that is it's like silky and look at the back so adorable like don't get me wrong the boobs are gonna be all the way down here but at least I'm gonna feel like I'm wearing a cute outfit do you know what I mean like I just think that's so nice like all my 
outfits I like the most. Old, nasty outfits to sleep in. So I wanted some like cute, nice little outfits to sleep in, you know what I mean? Did just get some night trainers in. They didn't have them in my size for ages and the grey ones. So I've had to send back the grey ones and they haven't come in in my size and the grey ones. So I've got these pink ones, but I don't like them as much as my grey ones, but they're still really cute. I just need to like, stop being so annoyed that they didn't have them in the colour I wanted. Like these are still a really nice colour, you know? But I got today, ladies and gents. I hope you've enjoyed it. I have had such a fun time over the last like week or so. I really hope you've enjoyed this little vlog. If you want more videos like this, I just really chill and like go the flow, like sort of just like the most random things ever. Then let me know because these are like really good videos for me to film and keeps you guys sort of in the loop of like a realistic sort of what's going on. So yeah, I love you guys so much. I hope you have the most amazing week. All my socials will be in the description box below. See you in my next video. Bye guys.